1019 The Twister. Stars in Cars. With Chris Jansen. Presented by Seth Wadley Chevrolet. Chris Jansen fixed me a drink. Yes, I did. And it's I know good. you got your Diet Mountain Dew there, but I thought I'd fix you a drink. Oh, yeah. And hey. since you're a big fan of Yetis. Hey, these are good, man, by the way. I didn't oh, get man. you the Yeti 110. How'd you know I love strawberry <laughs> lime? Oh, my God. I do my research. Give me a break. This is the best ever. Thank you. You bet. I mean, legit. This is my favorite. Okay. <laughs> I'd much rather have this than a Mountain Dew. <laughs> I like this truck too. Yeah, it's a Seth Wadley Chevrolet Silverado. The girls have named it Silver. Yeah, Seth Wadley Chevrolet hooked us up pretty good with this one. This is good. Thank you. I haven't had one of these in weeks dude with all the touring i really appreciate it thank you oh, you <laughs> i made my day <laughs> well i figured i figured you're a fan of the yeti oh my god yeah so, but, but um, i'm telling you right now i am a huge fan of these strawberry lemonades and i i heard a little bit about you liking the the cherry lime Route 44. Strawberry lime. yeah so That's all we, i drink we got you set up thank you you made my day there's three things i like people to know about me and one is i'm a christian and two is i'm a dad and three is i'm a husband and those are my three favorite parts of life. And then, you know, everything else is icing on the cake. So, um, you know, I just feel very blessed. I'm, it's the greatest privilege and honor, in my opinion, that there, there can be for a human being, um, just to be a parent. It's my greatest achievement, everything else. That's what inspires me about making music. How often do you see a big stone dinosaur, by not, the way? Not much, or a big stone <laughs> rooster. <laughs> Yep, I noticed that too. I was thinking, that's interesting. Welcome to Oklahoma. They've got a buffalo, a dinosaur, and a rooster. You take your pick. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and there's some inspiration for songs. So do you get to take the, the whole family out on tour with you? Yes. Just during the summer? No, take I take them all the time. Uh, now, of course, you know, good question would be, well, what about school? Well, so we haven't decided yet with the younger ones about homeschooling or just regular school. We, we want them to have as normal life as they can, which... My job doesn't really constitute a, a normal nine to five kind of or normal school day kind of you know lifestyle, but right. we're gonna make it happen either way. Parenting comes first; everything else comes second. And I think when you put your priorities in line like that, life just falls into line. The kids come whenever they want to come. Thankfully, we got a great support system around us too with grandparents, and they can attest to this. It takes a, a darn army to raise kids. Oh, so you know it. I like to have them around all the time, and Kelly's with me all the time. You know why? Because I just, to be honest with you, I love my job, you know, more than anything, but I just wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do it unless I had my wife next to me. So when did you know that this was the thing for you, that it was going to work? Um, professional, like professional music? Yeah. I pretty much knew that from the beginning, because I think, and I mean that with humility, I, I say because when I moved to town, even though I was just playing in honky-tonk bars in Nashville, when I say town in Nashville uh, 12 years ago, um, I think any time, any walk of life, whatever you're doing for work, or you step out on a limb and you go out there and you just go out there to achieve it and get it and get it done I believe that's winning already I think that's that's how, I think that's making it you know um, whatever you're doing that doesn't matter if you're um, working in radio or music or changing tires it doesn't matter I mean if you if you get out there and you're just making it happen you've made it thing whenever boat hit buy me a boat hit because I mean I'd have those songs that were top 40 hits and that kind of thing but was still you know building my brand and building my namesake but buy me a boat was such a big song and it happened all of a sudden that it it really just broke me into the masses which was a i'm very grateful for and then to follow suit holding her and now fix a drink and being the fastest rising one even faster than boat actually um it's just great but i think that the, for the first time i to answer your original question from the first time i stood on stage that was the moment i knew i mean i i just knew you know you gotta go out there and get it. If you want it bad enough, you work hard enough, you'll get it. And that reaction probably didn't hurt any either, did it? No, it didn't hurt it. Yeah, it was great. So um, I hear that's addicting. It is addicting. It's nice. I mean, you know, my addictions uh, are Mountain Dew in a can, Route 44 strawberry limeades, <laughs> my wife, my kids, everything else just kind of falls, you know. I, I, I go back to that a lot, but it's true. I mean, I, it's not a, just a facade. It's not something I talk about. I mean, also, I love to hunt. So um, anytime I get in the whitetail woods, is, that's a major addiction, I guess, if you will. But um, I'm not addicted to too much, man. Music music is just what I do. It's my passion and what I've always just 
done, you know. It, it, I started out as a hobby um, before it was ever a job, and then it became a job, which is, if you love your work, you never work a day in your life. Yep. The car is sweet. Which one's that? There's a car over there with the... Oh, I saw that earlier. Like, big old white wheels. Like 30-inch white wheels. Yeah, here, let's let's pop off and go cap capture a picture of that. Yeah, that's pretty sick. It was like an old Chevelle. Yeah, it's awesome. That was from like the 1970s. So you a big uh, older car fan? 70s? I am. I was 60s, 70s, 50s, what? All of the above. Speaking of the Silverado, I like this truck, by the way. I, um, I'm a Chevy guy from way back. Oh, I love it too. Seth Wadley Chevrolet. Man, they really hooked us up with a good truck. I'm, a, I'm like a Craigslist. I'm addicted to Craigslist. I love Craigslist and eBay and let go of the app. And I was... Uh, searching out cars in every town I go to. So when we came here to Oklahoma, I was I just about went out and looked at a 76 uh, Chevrolet short boat, four wheel drive. And uh, we just didn't didn't have time for it. it. But I, and I'm probably not the money for it at this point, but I kind of, I wanted it anyway. We're about to see the coolest car in the world. I mean, maybe not the coolest car in the world, but it certainly is, <laughs> <laughs> certainly catch your eye. Oh, there it is, yeah. Who knows, maybe it'll be for sale. They don't think we want to buy that if we slow down too far. Oh, it is for sale! I'll come back later and get the number. That's right, send that's it fine. To you. They look like Here, they... let, me, let me pop this out real quick. That so. is so cool. Is it? It's an Impala. With, what do you think those are, 40s? <laughs> yeah, they, they're pretty big. Low profile tires. <laughs> wow, that was pretty cool. You never would have thought you'd see that in Oklahoma either, huh? Pretty cool. Now, I had a couple of songs on my phone. My girls put some on here as well. Would you like to play Russian Roulette on my phone or would you like to uh, play something from your phone? I don't even have my phone so you can play yours. Okay, let's see. Oh no! You know how to need the whip and the nae -nae. <laughs> This is your whip. Yeah. This is your nae, -nae. My, right, kid, go. my kids know how to do don't this. Do now watch me whip. Now watch me nae -nae. Oh okay. Now watch me whip. Whip, watch me, nae -nae. That's it. Oh, that's whip. scary. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, that's, it's actually pretty fun. Pretty fun. Yeah. Well, you do the break the leg and the. Oh, I do the stanky leg for sure. Uh, the stanky leg and you break your legs and you uh, bop, bop, bop. Now this is uh, this is Oklahoma music here. Yeah, Toby. We did a, we did a tour together right when Boat came out. Yeah. So you got to tour with Toby. Mm -hmm. How fun was that? It was good. Really good. It was. Uh, it was the. The first string of dates that we did right after Buy Me a Boat came out, and, and he loved the song, and um, yeah, it was good. To, I mean, it was easy. It was just we just went out there and you and got to it, and uh, of course we love his music, and, and everybody got along great. One of the best gigs that I think I've ever heard about him doing was the Dukes of Hazard reunion show back in like 1990. Well, that's killer. <laughs> that's actually really killer. I'm looking for a General Lee right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's my damn right here. I'm a Skinner fan. Skinner took me on my first tour ever. Really? Yes. Yep. Hank Williams Jr. and Leonard Skinner. Well, Hank's not bad to hang out with either. No, we uh, we had a great time. I did two years with these guys. I, I love Leonard Skinner. They're so nice. Like, the best, really. And anybody who don't like Leonard Skinner music, I don't... I don't even understand them. <laughs> we cover, well, about, we cover about a minute of uh, Give Me Three Steps sometimes in the show. Right. We're scared. That's my first concert. Oh, you want to laugh? Yeah. Let me give you three concerts and see if you can guess which one was my first concert. Okay. Okay. Steve Martin. Uh, Hart. And John Cougar together, or Liza Minnelli. Which of those do you think was my first? I would say you probably didn't go to Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli was my first concert. Really? <laughs> I don't this remember is why, I why we went, but uh, my first concert was Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. And then, together. Yeah, and then. Uh, Years later, after I got into this business professionally, my first ever tour that I was invited on was Leonard Skinner. Again, like I said, Hank Jr. I love this. Oh, here we go. And then uh, we played the same arena. Pretty awesome. So you played the same arena that you went to your first concert in? Yes. 
And was that a homecoming or what? Yeah, it was amazing. Now this song, I gotta tell you, like... Yeah, if you don't recognize that. Only been out four weeks and man, it has blown up. It's crazy. We like... Well, I love the video. I put the video on before it blew up. Thank you very much. Um, I put it on my blog and, and people dug it. Thank you. Yeah, Luke's in it. Of course, Michael Ray, Love Cash, Dustin Lynch, the Davison Brothers, a lot of my friends and and um, all my family, of course. And how do you know Low Cash? Uh, I wrote. We've written a lot of songs together. First of all, I wrote Love This Life. Um, okay. And then we wrote Truck Yeah together for McGraw. Tim McGraw. Yeah. Lots of songs. I've written a lot of their songs with them and for them, if you will. Oh, there's another good one. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's not Tim McGraw. I've got some Tim McGraw in here somewhere. I didn't write this. I wrote Tim's last big hit, How I'll Always Be. Oh, you're kidding! Uh, -uh that's my story. How cool! Yeah, I love Tim McGraw, man. He's one of my greatest buddies in this business. He's always treated me real, real nice, and and um, been turned out to be a great friend. Yeah, you posted a video of him bringing you on stage for something. What was that about? Mm -hmm. We became buddies, and not only has he recorded a bunch of my songs, but he. Um, he just shows me great respect and love for my own artistry aside of being a songwriter which is awesome and loved buy me a boat and was real into that and and we've we've sang that a bunch of times on stage we've done trucky out a bunch of times on stage and and um he's just a we've done green grass grows together on stage before but he's just a great he's just a good friend and and uh i loved him man we did a lot of stuff together this past year and i, I can't say enough good things about the guy him yeah him luke man blake um, I really like Low Cash. Great Those guys yeah, Low Cash is, look, dude, <clears throat> nobody deserves it more, man. They, they've they worked really hard for uh, a lot of years, and the successes that they're having is, is amazing. Love This Life was certainly a blessing. They, you know, that being their first big, big, big hit, and still probably their biggest one, um, just got tons of radio play, and it was a big gold record, and we... Gosh, what a blessing that song is. I appreciate you running around with me. I appreciate you, brother. I'm this glad is... that we got to see at least a cool car. That is amazing. I wanted to get you down to Bricktown and let you see some of that, but we had to get back. What, what makes my day was the strawberry lime, so thank you for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go it. hit that stage and get on get on with the concert. See y'all soon. <laughs> Fix a drink. 1019 The Twister. Stars and Cars. With Chris Jansen. Presented by Seth Wadley Chevrolet. Chevrolet.